Well, welcome back to Fox 10 Extra News at 7. I'm Pilar Arias from the News Now. Set 240 miles above Earth, a half dozen people are working on board the International Space Station. Now two are about to make history. NASA announced the first all-female spacewalk on International Women's Day, calling it luck of the drop. It all starts with, uh, you know, competence and, and capability, and they just happen to have, have it just like every other astronaut has it. One of the astronauts is Anne McLean, who's halfway through her six-month mission. The 39-year-old is a West Point graduate and lieutenant colonel in the Army. And while she's a war vet with a bronze star, she's a rookie in space. We're not just sitting at the table. We're leading the table. Uh, there's no excuses. You can accomplish whatever you want to. Uh, you just got to just gotta throw your hat in the ring. You got to get out there and, and do it. Her spacewalk partner will be Christina Koch, another first-time astronaut to the ISS. She recently arrived with a fellow American and cosmonaut who had a brush with death when their launch failed two minutes after takeoff. Koch is a 40-year-old psychiatrist and electrical engineer who spent three years working in the coldest climates known to exist. While they're zipping around Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, their progress is being managed on the ground at Mission Control, where women are at the helm as lead flight director well, certainly and spacewalk Certainly, if they officer. can inspire kind of that next Next generation of space explorers. Um, they are certainly worthy of that inspiration, and I'm just really proud to be a part of it. Their spacewalk is scheduled for March 29th and is expected to take about seven hours as they replace batteries on the station's solar arrays. Pretty cool, right, guys? Fox News now streams live news coverage from across the